So for today, we're going to be looking at Nezra Extant. It did get asked for, and thank God it did, because this is actually one of my favorite exotics uh, for the Warlocks to actually use. But aesthetically, it is pretty challenging, which is why I do understand why they asked for it. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys want to ask for your own exotic, let me know in the comments below. Also, remember that I do have a second channel that I'm posting other content specifically. I have a Callisto protocol right now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the exotic perk, Abyssal Extractors. Void damage kills increase ability energy recharge rate. So essentially, this, whatever you're using a weapon with void, anything void related, you'll get the kill and you'll increase your recharge timer. You'll have like actually a little buff right there. And it's a lot of fun because once you really get into the nitty gritty of it, you like are looking for the next kill. You're using your abilities, you're using your your weapons and it's just a lot of fun like specifically i would be using a void smg with deathbringer i think those two really match together with this build because it's a lot of fun so nothing too crazy to say about this because again any void kill will just make your recharge rate for your energy abilities faster that's really it so yeah let me know what you guys think you guys like the exotic let me know as for the look of the exotic this is where it gets pretty wild because Nezrak scent and the ornament that it has kind of look similar, but not you'll you'll see what I understand when when I show you the ornament. But for the base look of it, I really like it. It's super, super clean looking. It it's so cool. I love the horns. Very cool. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything negative to say about this exotic. I think it looks really cool. The only th negative thing that I can say about it is the fact that there are pieces that are unshaderable. So as you guys can see from Echo Anger right now, you guys will notice that the gray plates in the front and in the side of the ears, the specifically the like gray portion does not change color. Even with a uh, Abyssinian gold does not change color. Uh, you should have noticed from Echo Anger because Echo Anger does not have gray in there at all, which is unfortunate because if it did change color, I think this would be even better uh you also notice that the like almost not not at the top of the ears but like a little higher than the helmet you guys will see that there's two lights you can not actually change the glow of that so if you are interested you can change that other than that that's pretty much it for that i mean again i really like this exotic it's just unfortunate that the face plates and the ear plates don't change color because if it did i think this would easily be one of the coolest looking exotics that the warlocks got even with the unshaderable pieces it's still really cool it's just unfortunate that it doesn't change color. As for the example set, this is where it gets interesting because I actually have two sets for you guys. So for the first one, we're going to show you the the like the battle look and then the casual look. So that way you guys can see which which one you might prefer. So for the first one, we're going to be using the gunsmith devotion robes. I literally had to play Gambit to unlock the the uh, synth weave or whatever it's called just to get this because I do think this goes really well with the Nezarek Sin. I think it looks amazing for the arms reasoning Tusk Allegiance goes because again, I'm going for like a battle warlock. So a lot of pieces are going to look metal and like just bulky, specifically like Deep Explorer boots uh, look very bulky. My, on my only gripe with it is I wish there was more red on the actual plate armor. But there's nothing really I can do about that aside from changing the shader. And Carbon Blood's red is very specific. So I didn't want to like try to finick it or make it look good because there's not a lot of shaders that actually there probably isn't any other shader that matches this red that well. So unfortunately, I just decided to not try to look for it because I just had a feeling I was not going to find anything better. For the bond, I have the Starfire's bond. Now, this is an interesting choice because for most people, the first choice would probably be the season of the splicer uh, season pass armor, which is a choice that I actually was thinking about doing. But the reason I'm using the Starfire's bond is because I imagine this is my this is my battle warlock. Like this is my warlock that is about to go into battle, like battle hardened and whatnot. So for me, the bond was more of a like it's 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 floating if you guys don't know the starfare bond is actually uh floating so it doesn't it's not attached to anything so for me i just imagined that like the bond was like an artifact that the warlock used to like have a shield out so that's kind of like my headcanon for why i'm using that that bond which 
I really like that because it is floating, which gives it that like magical sense. And then like, I can imagine like someone shooting at my warlock and using the bond as the shield and then like purple coming out. I will say uh, I, I'm kind of forced myself to use carbon blood because I didn't want to have pure purple for all of the Nezarek sin looks because this is the only one that's another color aside from purple. You guys will see once we're done, but uh, if it were up to me, I would actually switch this to purple because I feel like that would be a lot better because obviously you're using a lot, a lot of void. So for me, I think purple is the way to go for the casual look. I kind of messed around with this one. So for the helmet, obviously Nezrex in for the arms, we're using chat, the channeling wraps specifically because I like the fact that the, the pointy bits kind of look really good with the horns on the top of the helmet. I think that's really cool. That's why I'm using it for the chest piece. We're using the painted Kitsune robes because I'm going all in with the glow for the boots. Same thing. I'm going all in with the glow and it's actually bulky enough to look good. And for the bond, we're using the elect of the empty, empty bond. So a lot of pieces I really like. I think the only piece I can really switch out would be the channeling robes just because they do look a little bulky with the arms. So like if you see the arms and like like all of the arms and then you see the like forearm and everything, it just just looks kind of out of place, but I still like it enough to like not change it because I do think it looks cool. But if you guys have a better suggestion, let me know in the comments below. As for the ornament, it is called Afraid of Dark. I really like this because of the shapes that the faceplate has. It looks very menacing, very edgy, very sharp. It looks really cool. And as you guys can see, the horns are actually a little bit smaller as well, which I like. I think the Nezrax Sin base horn length is like way too high. I mean, granted, I still love it, but I do think it's super fucking big. I think the, this is just right. It looks pretty cool. I will say this is pretty annoying to like mess with because I really want to get into the like the geometry of the helmet and I want to put that in the armor itself as well, which we don't have a lot of. So unfortunately, I had to suffer a little when I was doing the sets, but this is where I should probably point out that if you like, for example, one of the sets that I made for the base look of Nezrax Sin and you want to have that for the ornament. All of the armor sets that I made in this video are interchangeable because both of them look so, so similar that you really could just interchange whatever you want. So just to let you know, as for how it shaders, this shader is really, look really good. I really appreciate that there isn't a piece that doesn't shader there. All of the pieces sh shader really well. And a lot of pieces just a lot of them is just like, yes, this is exactly what I wanted this to shader. A lot of the armor pieces in this uh, are the main color of armor pieces. And then in the middle, you'll see that it is actually different colors, specifically with Echo and Anger and Abyssinian Gold, you'll see, which again, I really appreciate when armor pieces actually shader well, because it makes my life a lot easier. So for the first example set, I decided to do something royal. And this is kind of bougie coming from me because I usually don't go this hard. But as you guys can see, not only are we wearing different armor pieces, but we're using different armor shaders as well, which is wild. I rarely ever do this. And I not to toot my own horn, but I did a fucking amazing job. So for the helmet, obviously afraid of the dark for the ornament. It's a no brainer for the arms using the contender gloves with smashing success because the brown of that shader looks so so close to the brown of royal treatment, which we're using the elect of the empty robes with, which is just the basic. That's the shader it comes with. So again, the arms and the chest piece look so fucking good together that I was just blown away for the boots. Forbidden visage boots is easy. And with shadow guilt, it. I just love the fact that I found these two combinations because shadow guilt is such a finicky shader usually. And when I saw that, not only does Forbidden Visage Boots take purple really well with this shader, but it also took the gold of this, made me immediately love it. For the bond, we're using the Vernal Growth Bond specifically for the gold, but also with Royal Welcome because the, the purple that it gives is really, really good. The only issue I have with this look is that the Forbidden Visage Boots, specifically Shadow Guilt, actually gives the heel of the boot white. 
it's such a small nitpick that most people are not going to notice it. You probably didn't even notice it when the armor was turning. So for me, this is probably one of the best armor sets I've made. If you were to ask me though, I would actually use the default or, or the default look for Nezrax 10 for this look, just because the default look does have a glow. And if you have a glow that has purple on it, it's just going to look amazing. I would probably go with Royal Treatment because Royal Treatment does have purple in the glow. So for me, I would probably just switch to Royal Treatment for the helmet and then just go back to the regular look because I feel like that would be way better. Because again, Afraid of the Dark is a really good ornament, but for me, it looks a lot better with more geometry inspired sets, specifically like a lot of shapes and whatnot. And for this look, I think it looks a little bit more uh, like classy, which I think the Nezirak Sin base look is going to be really good with. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this one. This one is legitimately my favorite and I'm going to be showcasing this one like a lot. Last but not least, we have my main bread and butter look. This one I actually use with another helmet, specifically Astrocyte first. That's the one I ended up using this, this set with, but I ended up switching it out for the Nezirak Sin because I can. It's super easy to just switch out and it looks amazing. Again, uh, you can switch it out either or again, this one I would most likely just use the base look of it, not saying afraid of the dark is bad by any means. It's just that I would probably switch the battle mage one that I made with the afraid of the dark. I think that one would be really good. It's just that this is how I made it. And I really wanted to just really sh tell you all of these sets are interchangeable with the ornament or the or not the ornament. You can do whatever you want with it. You don't I don't I'm not going to police you. And to be quite honest, that's kind of the whole point of the fashion. You can do whatever you want. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. Comment are hopefully, hopefully you guys you got some good ideas from this. If you do like some of this armor sets, just let me know. Jesus. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys like any of these armor sets. If you guys do end up using the armor sets, just be aware that just give, give credit. That's all I ask uh, because people get mad about this stuff. If you take people's fashions without asking or without giving credit, then people will react really bad. So let me know what you guys think. Again, if you guys want to see your own, your own exotic be showcased, let me know in the comments below. I'll get started on it, but be safe and I'll see you guys later.